All right, I want to explore an interesting trend that I notice, and it's particularly unusual, but it possibly could happen, so I want to explore it. Here in Canada, we have a similar dollar system to the United States of America. Now, the United States, when the oil price goes back up, is heading toward a hyperinflationary scenario. There's no way out of it because of the debt that's been created. Uh, and it's going to be caused by the Federal Reserve's response to a deflationary spike. Now, I've went over this in great detail in other articles that I've produced. Now, at the same time that that occurs here in Canada, we have a very bad situation with a real estate bubble that's formed. It's an extremely powerful real estate bubble, and the Canadian people have went deeply in debt. Uh, they've borrowed against their real estate assets here in Canada. And when this real estate bubble bursts, it's going to cause a deflationary spike here in Canada that's even worse than in the United States. But this deflationary spike here in Canada is going to go unresolved. Where in the United States, uh, the United States government is going to try to do something about their deflationary spike and they're going to cause a great uh, hyperinflation. Here in Canada, because our deflationary spike will go unresolved, our currency will move in exactly the opposite direction from the currency in the United States. What this will do is it'll absolutely destroy the Canadian economy. There will be poverty everywhere here in Canada. Uh, tremendous poverty. But an interesting phenomenon could actually happen. The United States, because their currency will be going into a hyperinflationary scenario, uh, they would be reaching out in a, black mar in a black market, a huge extensive black market in the United States. They would be using and this black market would form very quickly. They would be using silver and gold and actually cash as transactions. But the American cash that they use would be worth very little. Uh, they would probably be forming it into bundles, uh, wrapping it with elastic bands and actually weighing it, uh, selling it by the pound. Uh, so perhaps for an ounce of silver, you might be able to buy a whole pound of US uh, bills uh, and they probably wouldn't even look at the denominations of the bills or unless they were very high denominations uh, the American government at that point would probably have to print bills higher than the standard hundred dollar bill probably wouldn't be enough to satisfy the uh, if if they were uh, using cash but uh, uh, the thing is is they would be in a hyperinflation and so one of the things that they might actually use as currency in the United States along with gold and silver would be the Canadian currency which would be in very short supply because when the margin call occurs here in Canada when our real estate bubble bursts uh, there would be a huge margin call and cash would dry up quicker than hot spit on a stove it would just be pow gone and uh, so cash would be in extremely short supply here and it could actually be used on the black market in the United States which would make it even worse. It would exacerbate the condition. So what I'm talking about would be a, a period in time where Canada would be going through something that would be similar to the Great Depression in the United States which was a deflationary event. At the same time the United States is going through a hyperinflation. Now, right now, what I'm talking about is only a scenario. It hasn't come out to, it hasn't played out that way or anything, but I can see trends pointing in this direction that this actually could possibly happen. Now, I'm not saying it will happen, I'm just saying that I see these trends pointing toward this as a possibility. And so I'm pointing out these trends ahead of time. Uh, and trying to get this out there and see what other people think of this idea that this actually could possibly uh, come to pass and uh, just what this would look like if it did come to pass. Uh, now you have to understand that when the American dollar was moving up in strength and gaining strength very quickly 
Uh, the dollar index was going up and it went all the way up, I think, to 103 point something. The Canadian dollar was losing strength uh, and getting weaker and weaker. Now, going back about two or three years ago, uh, the Canadian dollar was par. And it kept dropping. It dropped down into the 90s, 80s, uh, 70s. And it even dropped below 70 for a short period of time. I think it bottomed out around 68. Well, now she's been climbing back again. Uh, 69, clawing its way up. 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76. And I think this morning it touched 77. Well, when the American dollar goes into a hyperinflation, that Canadian dollar could just keep right on climbing. 77, 80, 90, a uh, dollar, par, and then keep going from there. And that's only going to exacerbate the, uh, the whole thing if that actually happens. Because what would happen then is uh, um, uh, we sell a tremendous amount of goods south of the border uh, to the United States uh, in trade. And uh, if the Canadian dollar gets too strong, uh, it's going to just kill the trade. And that's going to increase again, along with the real estate bubble bursting. That would increase the effect of uh, the deflation here in Canada. Uh, deflation can be a tremendous destroyer. You know what I mean? And uh, it, to get rid of it, it takes a tremendous reaction on the part of money creation and, uh, and, and, and uh, creating liquidity. Now, the Fed has no qualms about doing that. And believe me, uh, when deflation comes to the United States, they will respond and they will respond viciously to the deflation to destroy it. Picture uh, somebody coming out with a sword to destroy the dragon, you know, the, the dragon being deflation. They're going to destroy it. They're going to cut its head off, the United States. Believe me, Janet Yellen is more of a dove than you could ever imagine. And she will fight uh, deflation with everything she has. She'll pour everything she has on it. And believe me, they have a lot of tools to fight deflation with. They will kill it. They have the tools to kill it. Why wouldn't they kill it? Sure, they'll kill it. And when they kill it, they're going to destroy the United States dollar. So look at this as just what I've been talking about the last few minutes. Look at it just as a possibility to explore and something to think about uh, in the future when this uh, uh, hyperinflation comes, something that could actually be a possibility that could possibly happen. Uh and uh, I like to explore possibilities like uh, things like that, to uh, think about things like that. And uh, this is uh, how you learn. Uh, so thank you for listening. Like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next article. Bye.